There you have it. The biggest guns in the Republican Party are trying to unseat Gray Alba because, you see, he's a tell it like it is Democrat. Gray Alba is a single payer guy and one of the strongest voices against radical Arizona immigration law that was been a big topic of conversation this year. The four term congressman is also facing the ugliest racist side of the Republican Party. Now, this is the Arizona GOP. They are running with this mailer for their candidate, Ruth McClung, showing Grijalva with this mustache. Now you be the judge. Is that racist? The Republicans will stop at absolutely nothing to scare old, white, low information voters. Joining us now is the Arizona Congressman Raul Grijalva and co-chairman of the Progressive Caucus. Congressman, good to have you with us tonight. Uh, I, I'm almost embarrassed to ask you for your reaction to this, but that is the story. What is your reaction to being depicted as a bandito that's being shipped around the state of Arizona. It's it, it's a pattern, and, and uh, I'm not the only one that's uh, that's been inflicted by uh, by this. Uh, you know, we're, we're questioning our pre our president's uh, birthplace, which is should is a non-issue, uh, and 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 this issue is uh, is a very convenient way to cover up the inability to really articulate what the positions are of of the Republican Party. They're for privatizing Social Security. They don't want to talk about that. Uh, the people of the 7th District in Arizona reject that. They're for destroying public education. The people of the 7th District reject that. They're for giving more tax breaks to co corporations and the very rich in this country. The people of the district reject that. And so it is convenient to demonize, marginalize people, and therefore, in a very convenient and calculated and well-planned attack, scored away from the issues. And the fact that, you know, you have John McCain who has found his teacup and joined the party during the primary when he yeah. feared that he was going to be taken out by the Tea Party activists. But Congressman, the birthers and the Tea Partiers have questioned the president's uh, citizenship. This is the Republican Party in Arizona that is mailing this around. This is now standard operating procedure for the GOP in Arizona. Has it been this low before? Not, not in my recollection. You know, the, 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 the political battles have always been heated and pitched, uh, but never have we resorted to distortion, to demonizing or marginalizing people. It's a it's a old tactic with a whole new twist, and it's ugly. And, and uh, I, I, that's the first time I've ever seen two senators in a commercial uh, talk down the competition and state things that simply aren't true. It, it, did, did your position kill jobs in Arizona? No, the, the positions that the two senators and, and the positions that Sarah Palin is taking and, and that my opponent has embraced fully are, are, are what kills jobs in this state. Their inability to deal with a real fiscal policy, the deficit that they created yeah. while they were in power in Congress and in the White House. But you're, those you're, are inherited problems that we're trying to solve, but we get no credit. All we get is the demonization that you're yeah. seeing, not only on in, by the air, but also in the mailers that are going out, not just in my district, but all over the country but it's very and to clear. my other colleagues you, in the state. But Congressman, you've never been targeted like this before. This this is a new area, is it not? I mean, yeah, and I think it, it's a, it, it's a, uh, we have a we have a presence. We not only have a presence in our district, but I yeah. I think we have a, a national reputation. And you I'm do. a target. I was a target with when 1070 came out. I was a target uh, during the discussion of economic sanctions, and uh, we knew that we knew that going in. We know what kind of a fight we're in, and but it's been very gratifying. The grassroots across this country have been very supportive, and it's been uplifting for our campaign, both the volunteers yes. and the donations. So we're we're in the fight. We're not backing out, and uh, we're going to stick to our guns. Congressman, good to have you with us tonight. I appreciate Th your time. Thanks so much. Thank you, Ed. For appreciate more, it. You bet.